But thank you, Joni, and th thank you, everyone. Uh, getting an endorsement from someone like Joni it means an awful lot to me. And there's a, we have a lot more in common than people might realize. We both grew up on the west side of Syracuse to large Irish Catholic families. We both understand the importance of family. We both understand the importance of hard work. Joni went to Syracuse Law School, so did I. And she became a prosecutor like I did. And, th and those values that we understood from being a prosecutor and our sense of duty is, uh, carries with us to this day. But perhaps most important is the fact that, you know, I think from our family backgrounds, it really gave us a lot of training and how to, at an early age, of how to get along with others, how to work out your differences, and how to uh, uh, just think about someone other than yourself. And those are all traits that have, have made Joni such a good county executive, and I want to take those traits to Washington, because, you know, Washington really is broken right now. It's unbelievable how much partisan gridlock there is, and how much self-interest there is, and how much party divide there is. And that's exactly why I got into this race, because, you know, I have three teenage boys, and uh, I want a future for them that's in, uh, not only in this county, but in this country, that's far more positive than we have right now. There's far too much partisan politics down there, and you can see by the nature and tone of my opponent's commercials that partisan politics and what he's all about, and attack is what he's all about. It's, it's just not productive. And so, you know, moving forward, I just hope everyone understands that I am going to reach across party lines to get things done. And I'm not afraid to say that. I am a Republican, but I'm also an American, and uh, I want to take very seriously the interests of Central New York families and uh, their concerns, and we have very real concerns. And lately, it seems like in Washington, not only is there a, a crisis in leadership, there's also a crisis in competence. It seems like from ISIS to even the Ebola outbreak, it seems like we just people are down there, they're just not getting things done, and they're not getting things done in a timely manner. And you know, Joni is represented on the local stage here what true leadership is about, and she has the courage to do it, and she has the courage to stand the fire for it. And I really admire Joni for that. And I, I think that's the type of person I want to be in, in Washington. And so when I am elected, I'm going to go down there and I'm going to get things done. And I'm going to come back here and work with Joni every single day to make sure that Central New York benefits from leadership, not the other way around. And uh, I am very mindful of the fact that the citizens of this country own that job, not me. And uh, I will be far more worried about your job going forward than my own. And I think that's a stark contrast to our current leader. So uh, with that, I want to thank Joni again. She is a true uh, example of what uh, nonpartisan politics are about. And uh, she's a true example of what putting priorities in like your family and Central New York Families First is all about. And I'm all about that, too. So uh, thank you, Joni, very much. And uh, we're going to work together to make, make Central New York a better place.